Hi right, guys, just a quick demo of uh, my CTCSS board continuous tone. Uh, what is it? Continuous tone coded squelch system, uh, which is a method of combating interference on a particular frequency uh, by selectively allowing uh, your your audio amplifier to open up uh, when a particular tone is superimposed on the signal that is being transmitted and this prevents uh, repeaters from keying up for uh, other emissions on, on their input frequency and the problem is your older radios from the 1970s that are 50 years old don't have the uh, tone coders built in so people go and build a little board to generate a tone as I've done here, uh, we have a pick generating a frequency t uh, times 10 and then that's divided by 10 to arrive at the frequency we want which is uh, selected uh, with a button and displayed here. There are many more tones than this but Australian repeaters tend to use uh, 91.5 and then uh, 123.0 whenever uh, two repeaters overlap uh, when they're too close together with the same input frequency. Uh, and that tends to be uh, the only two uh, tone frequencies we see in Australia. Um, so I can, I've got a, um, this receiver, or I'll use as a receiver, is set up as you can see in the top right corner, 91.5. Um, so with no tone set, I can transmit, and although we'll see a signal, I can talk into the mic like I am now, and the audio amplifier has not opened up. And you can see my uh, signal being transmitted there. Um, and although we get uh, signal strength, we don't hear anything. Um, so I'll set 91.5, just by pushing the button. And this time, now you can hear me on the FT3D being received. Um, uh, so I'll change frequency to, uh, or the tone frequency, to 123. And now you won't hear me. Well, you can hear me, hopefully, on the video, but not on the radio. Um, so I always suspected that um, the tone detector would be faster than the relay delay when a, a, a repeater keys down or a radio. So um, I've got a third mode here. This is just one I picked in case I want to use one, the 74. Uh, another mode here cycles between all three frequencies. And uh, that happens to be enough to leave the receiver open. So you can hear me talking. Um, and what is happening now isn't actually a continuous tone, it's a, um, a cycling uh, three tones. And um, I've left the amplitude up so you may even be able to hear that. Or may not. But if you could hear it, it's like boo 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 boo. Um, and then when it, uh, yeah, well, when I uh, go to use it properly, um, I will turn the amplitude down as low as it will go and then um, back up a little bit uh, and still key up the radio. Uh, so uh, that was just a little experiment. So um, in Australia, you'd probably never actually have to set a tone or know what a tone for a repeater is, even though this is uh, a no-no, I imagine, uh, because it defeats the whole purpose of CTCSS um, doing this because it would open up two repeaters that are within the same range that are using two separate frequencies uh, so it would uh, defeat what this system is kind of trying to do so don't do it see ya